session 2015 is down to the last two weeks already. They are looking like they are really trying to get things done before the deadline. Tuesday evening, the House Transportation Committee will take action on their version of the revenue and budget bill. Included in that very important bill is funding for the collective bargaining agreements which includes 7% on July 1st of this year and an additional 3% on July 1st of 2016. They also include in their, in their budget a direct st directed study to the Joint Transportation Committee. They will thoroughly examine the recruitment and intention, retention issues, much of which stems from the salary levels and plans for addressing those needs in the future. This will be done during the interim between 2015 session and 2016 session to be completed by December 15th of this year. Both the GPS and the annuity bills are poised to be passed in the House. When that happens, both of those bills will be headed for the governor's office for signing. Again, the annu annuity bill is one that allows our members in the WSPRS to, bu uh, to buy a $25,000 minimum annuity at the time of retirement. Similar bill for left two members passed last year. This is a guaranteed annuity, a really, really good benefit for those that have large deferred compensation accounts. The GPS bill, of course, protects the coordinates of your personal residence from public disclosure, a bill that we worked very hard with the Attorney General and the Allied Daily Newspaper folks over the course of the last two years a good protection, at least a start for a good protection. Well, that's it for now, and there'll be plenty to talk about in the next weeks and days to come. We'll keep you posted.